I get tired of everyone treating me like I am a monster just because I'm different than everyone else. They scream and run in their homes and lock their doors in fear of me. And you would think people who see I am injured but they yell and call me a monster because I have bandages and walk with my arms held outright looking for some food. When someone sees others different than them, they call them names, try to hurt their feelings just to get it through wanting them to react the way they want them to. You are so right and when you stop looking at their hate towards you, they turn to other means to try to get a reaction from you because that is their only entertainment. And you think monsters like us have no feelings, but we know people are too afraid of us to be nice to us so that is why we look out for those who want to harm or kill us. If I had a dollar when someone tried to set me on fire, I would be a billionaire, I swear, it gets to where I can't even sleep in my tomb without someone looking gold. If I seen one angry villager running after me with torches, I have seen a hundred all yelling and chasing me around the countryside calling me a monster. Yeah, what gives them the right to judge us and say we are evil when they are the ones who talk the trash about us and cause the hate against us? I. It is all whether they like you or not or if what social class you are in so if you are wealthy, they suck up to you and want something from you and if you are poor? If you are poor they treat you like you are. You are not worth their time and life is not fair whether you are liked or disliked for everyone for the most part focuses on themselves. It's only on the holidays when people start to think of others but this too falls short each year and they focus on how much they get for the holidays and get mad. Yeah, they get mad at someone to take out the insecurity they feel about a loved one or friend who was trashing them so they take it out on total strangers. Or someone on the internet who they think they know so they do cruel things to them and laugh about it not thinking of their feelings or how it may hurt them emotionally. Emotional pain can be just as bad as physical pain then those who you believe to be your friends turn on you and trash your life so much they are liable to cause some harm. This is why so many people kill themselves because of bullies who do cruel things and focus every effort to cause them pain, they even use other people's deaths to cause others pain. Karma is a real thing and those who focus their efforts harming others get theirs in the end and they do not think anyone will seek them out but there is ways to trap them down. They do not believe they can be harmed or think someone will track them down but then you least expect it, someone like us may be hiding in the bushes ready to pounce on them. They truly believe they are safe from us when they mock you and call you names, but think about how many people kill others when they get picked on and bullies focus on them. So who are the real monsters? Us who get focused upon for being different or them who do the bullying and causing others the emotional pain to cause others to do harmful things? You hear about this on the news all the time, but you think the bullies believe that it will never happen to them, they are blind to the fact they are hiding behind false icons. They should realize they are not safe from those who they pick on and they should look behind them at all times because people do take revenge out on someone who does this. These people do not believe their actions will cause someone to track them down, but they are very wrong because anyone can be tracked down and some deserve what happens to them. I am sure no one will miss them because of the harm they cause others so let them quake in fear as they bully other people but there is always someone like us hiding in the bushes. They are the ones who made us, made the monster in us and they may learn the hard way that we have a breaking point and who knows how safe they are in their homes from us. So who are the real monster now? Us who are hated for being different or those who bully for their own amusement? Who is more likely to live the longest? Who will be safest? Who will always have to watch their backs each time they focus their bullying on someone else? Do they think they are safe from us? That is a lie to think they're safe. That is the foolish part of being a bully because no one is safe when they make us mad enough to track them down and take our revenge on them for doing the cruel things they do. They are the true monsters and we only track them down and wait until they feel safe and we always have the last laugh no matter how long it takes us, a monster maid never forgets. And a monster made by them never forgives for what they have said or done and we are always waiting for the right moment to take our vengeance on those who will not leave us alone.